Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to take a look at the hottest player coming out of the Senior Bowl, and that is Safety Richie Grant. This is serious. Boom. Cap mode time, baby. All right, Senior Bowl time is wrapping up. The game will be on Saturday the 30th, so make sure you check that out. I think that's going to kick off at 2 p.m. Central Time, so check that game out. You know, uh, Mike and I have done a great job. You know, giving you a few of the prospects to check out. Obviously, there's a lot more. Some of these guys will shine here when the lights come on. So, but, you know, out of a lot of these players, the one that has really stood out the most to me is Richie Grant. All right, this guy, you know, measures in right at six foot, you know, 5'11 and a half. So, six foot, 200 pounds out of UCF, uh, Central Florida. So, uh, you know, he's a name that... Uh, I became familiar with a little bit earlier on, didn't catch on into the film breakdown until a week ago and then a little bit more this week. You know, when when you saw the playmaking attributes that he's been doing here at the Senior Bowl, uh, he's just really popping off the screen. That's what you want to see in the Senior Bowl. And these guys that do this, they make some money and their draft stock goes up. We, we saw this, you know, I tweeted this about Darnell Savage when he went to the Senior Bowl. You know, he went from like a third, ended up getting drafted in the first round. Uh, you know, I think like 26, somewhere in the late 20s to the to the Packers. Richie Grant has has earned himself some big money here. There's a lot of uh, discussion as far as who is your your uh, safety one. You know, could it be Merrick at a TCU? Could it be, you know, some of these other names that, that have been floated around? You know, the the, the hot name early was Andre Cisco suffered a, a knee injury there so but he started out you know the the season here pretty good you know I had a pick six to start off the season and I was looking the part a ball hawking uh, safety some people don't like him I like him um Merrick I like him a lot I, I he's the first guy I had in my mock draft was was uh was Merrick so I still like him but Richie Grant man you know um I like what I see here. I could see him being the safety number one taken in this draft. And honestly, what the Cowboys are going to employ here with Dan Quinn, you know, the cover three, this is the this is the type of guy that you want. Somebody that can go sideline to sideline, can cover a lot of field in a short uh, amount of time. You know, he's got good speed, quickness, scrappiness. Taking a look at some of the clips here from the senior ball, let's take a look at this here. Uh, in this play, you know, I think we're going to look at a... Uh, an interception here in the red zone so look at that so that's a good one there uh the second clip here from the senior bowl he's gonna do a, i think this is gonna be a pass breakup yep pass breakup there in completion there for the wide receiver and then here's another play here from the senior bowl this is a pick it's an interception and here's a another look at the interception here there's another one here Basically, he's he's had two in this uh, Senior Bowl practices. So, look in the part. Look in the part indeed. And here he is, uh, Mac Jones. Pass breakup. So, pass breakups, interceptions, incompletions. I mean, he's doing everything you want to see. And and trust me, guys. Cowboys fans are not the only ones talking about this guy. I, I looked around at other teams. And this is a very thin safety class as far as you know getting you know quote unquote a premium type of safety so it's not just the Cowboys looking at him so you know I'm not saying the Cowboys would take him at 10 but this would be a prime trade down candidate all right trade down accumulate another you know second or third round pick if you want which is great the the value in this draft is top 100 and if you can get more and the top 50, top 100, you're in business. And, you know, we have a lot of outgoing players in this draft. So for the Cowboys' point of view, you know, moving down, and if you can get this player, you know, depending on how your board is, is are certain players wiped out, or does he, in fact, become your target? You know what I mean? So we'll see how this, this shakes out, but I, I, I like what I'm seeing here now. What we're going to take a look at now here, I'm going to do a little bit more of an actual breakdown of some of his collegiate film. So let's go into the lab and take a quick look at some of the plays and what I like about this player. Let's check this out. Here we go. Here's an example of Grant in the box forcing a fumble. All right, here's another look at it. Forced fumble, recovery. 
It's a badass play, though. Ball hawking skills are a part of his game as well. Check this out here. Interception. Badass. This is a common thing with Richie Grant. You're going to see him force a fumble here from behind. He never gives up on the play. Check this play out here. Instant replay. Fumble. Force fumble. He's going to punch that out. All right. And you'll see him do this over and over again. In this play here, he's going to make an interception. So basically, like I said, you know, ball hawking skills. He's got good hands. So if it's in the area, he's going to pick it off. He's not going to drop it like we've had here in the past with some of our other DBs. So the previous play and this play are both from the bowl game. So shows up when the lights come on on the big stage. So this is going to be another force fumble. He's going to get he's going to take on a block from the receiver on the screen pass, breaks away from it, doesn't quit on the play, forces the fumble and just makes another huge play for the defense. You know, this is something that the Cowboys defenders are lacking immensely. But uh, Richie Grant, you're not getting the 70%. You're getting 100%. Takes on the block. He's going to run down this this guy right here and forces the fumble. Just punches it out. You know, that's what you want. That's what this defense needs. We need to force more turnovers. I love this player, man. All right, guys. So that's a look. Uh, a pretty good look of Richie Grant, what he's done in the senior bowl. And, you know, some of the breakdown that I did here, uh, and over the last couple of seasons at Central Florida. So <clears throat> I like what I see. I think you guys would uh, would agree. You know, obviously people have their biases and these kinds of things, different players that they prefer. I'm on the Richie Grant train, okay? All aboard. Honk that horn. I'm on it. I think you guys should be on it. The Cowboys need to be on it, you know. And uh, somebody that you want to line up next to Donovan Wilson – Dude, I mean, that secondary gets bolstered up right off the bat. I love the playmaking ability that he has. You know, he's very aware in the open field, always looking for the tone, the turnovers, forced fumbles. That's his game. He's had five over his career. And, you know, whether it's coming from behind or whatever, he's, he's looking for forcing that fumble. So you love that. That's what you want. That's what the Cowboys need. Short fields, give the offense a better opportunity. And let's go to work, guys. Let me know what you guys think about Richie Grant. I really appreciate you guys, all my subscribers and members. Shout out to all you guys. More Senior Bowl coverage coming up here. Uh, after the game on Saturday, we'll do a post report. And we'll do another one here with Mike on Tuesday. You know, kind of wrapping it up, putting a bow on the Senior Bowl. But this will churn mock drafts. You know, the, the Senior Bowl, there's a lot of talent here. This is just one of my one of my pet cats, one player that, that, that I just love. I had to do a video on him, and um, that's where we're at, guys. Richie Grant, let me know what you guys think. Continue to like, subscribe, and share, guys. I'll see you for the next one. Peace.